here trying to salvage. Stage three. Well guys so welcome to a little bit of a recap video of the season thus far I'm sorry it's been a little bit quiet and I've been on the road both me and Fiona have been on the road pretty well constantly uh, me since mid-may and Fiona since uh, the beginning of June so excuse the lack of videos and the lack of content um, I've been trying to put out a little bit of race content on Instagram um, but this is going to be a bit more of a long-winded season recap. Um, yeah. So after I arrived in Colorado, we had team training camp, and there's not too much video footage of that. Uh, it was just really getting to know the guys and, and creating a, a good team bond with, with all the guys, and so it wasn't really a time to pull cameras out. Um, we did one race in uh, Boulder, Colorado, and I think we ended up with a top five. Um, it was just horrific, windy, just cross windy, my worst nightmare kind of race. Um, and then, so we'll move on from that quite quickly. Uh, I've got a pen to fiddle with because I need to keep my hands busy. Um, we'll move on from that quite quickly to my decision to leave Colorado and come to California. So. Me and Fiona got a place in California for the summer just to be based out of, to travel to races. It's a good central location um, on the West Coast. And by central, I mean not at all central. So the first big travel race for me was Tulsa Tough. just a lot of suffering for three days to be quite honest with you and legion was there racing with their full a squad their full lead out train and so uh, it was legitimately motor pacing for three days 
And, uh, and yeah. So after Tulsa wrapped up, we kind of gathered ourselves, threw everything in the van, and road tripped. I think it was about seven hours drive over to Milwaukee, which is just above Chicago. If you aren't familiar with the area, if you don't know where Chicago is, uh, Google map it. Very Midwest. Uh, it was pretty cool to be in Milwaukee for the first time, first time in the Midwest for me. And uh, I, yeah, had a good time. It was, uh, it was interesting coming off of Tulsa into Toad, which is two of American Dairylands for short. And it happens uh, all over sort of the Milwaukee area and the surrounding towns. It was, a, it was a fairly big learning experience for me and the team. We were still getting to know each other, still figuring out how to race together. On the second to last day that I was at Toad, we had a really good result in the sprint. I think we were third after I led Brendan Hardy out. And I had been kind of trading the sprinting role back and forth with, with Brendan Hardy all week. And he was up, it was his turn. And so we let him out and I'll show you a, a quick video of that. You can see us right at the front of the crit here. I've got Brendan Hardy on my wheel, but at this point we're coming through just past one lap to go. He's lost my wheel by about two spots. So I take this corner wide, allow myself to drift back. He yells, he's on my wheel, and I immediately accelerate up the left side. And I can see New England doing their lead out on the right. So I'm gonna go all the way on the curb, pinch, the Chinelli lead out train, New England swings over to the left through here. This wasn't super ideal. I would have liked to hit the front uh, through here, but I'm on the crosswind side with Hardy on my wheel. There's Clever Martinez who went on to win the sprint. He's in the leader jersey. And I'm just gonna do a big effort to make sure Hardy is well positioned right before this corner. And then I'm gonna swing off and get out of the way. They're gonna hold position through this last straightaway with the tailwind and then it's a right turn and about uh, 30 meters to the line. So we were third in this sprint. That was our best result in a bunch of kick uh, for Toad. And uh, and yeah, that's how we do it. And there ended up being a breakaway up the, up the road. Um, so unfortunately it wasn't, a, wasn't standing on a box, but uh, a good result against some top, top sprinters for him. After Toad for me, uh, Toad ended three days early for me because me and my teammate Grant, who you'll see in these videos here, headed down to Jacksonville, Florida for American Amateur National Championships. And this was a really interesting race for us because the team was planning on sending a full six rider squad and it was decided last minute that that was gonna be too much hassle. And so we ended up just having me and Grant go with uh, Randy Reichardt and Adam Ventling as two uh, ride support for us. And so we were four <laughs> from a six or seven man team down to four of us with kind of me and Grant being the, the pointy end of the spear. And we went in with uh, sort of individual plans. There's only two of us, so we can, you know, there's only so much you can do with, uh, with two riders. So we both went with separate roles Grant looking more for the breakaways and sort of the crit stuff uh, on this Sunday and me focused on the road race and the sprint in the road race. Um, it was a long day, it was 180K pan flat. Like I, I can't, even, can't even begin to describe how pan flat it is. It was, uh, I can't even remember what the elevation was but I think it was about two or three hundred meters of elevation in 180k so hand flat very little wind it was florida humidity and so the first two laps couldn't even put glasses on because they were it was like beating water off of our face faces for the first couple laps and then the sun came out and it was just sort of a race of attrition it was mostly crit teams there and they kind of ran out of gas 100k in and so I was able to be fourth in the sprint which was a really good result we kind of went in with the expectation of we can get top tens that's a really good result top five would be yeah, quite exceptional that was the that was what we were told and I pulled a fourth on the first day which we were quite happy with we were pretty stoked
Alrighty, so we're going to join the action with about three kilometers to go in the road race here. Um, and you can see the camera's not mine. It's on board one of the Mike Spikes guys. You can just see me coming into frame here on the left. I'm in the white, the, the green jersey, or the green band on my jersey, and the black shorts. So this is two corners to go, and this is where I nearly lose the race. I'm all the way in the grass here, have to hop out, hop back onto the road. Um, I'm still not too fussed. We're about 30 riders back right now. Um, I'm not sure why people are fighting. We're still three kilometers out from the finish on a pan flat course. Um, so I'm just trying to save as much energy as possible. We're going to fast forward to about 2k to go ish. Um, we're still like 20 wheels back and this is kind of right in the scrum of things. You can see the gateway kid moving up on the left. Um, and he's going to try to jump in and I'm just surfing wheels at this point. I'm not actually too fussed. You see echelon lead out guy going backwards. They just, they went a little bit too early um, in my opinion. And you can see guys are fighting. I'm not entirely sure why for 20th wheel. Um, it was pretty easy to move up if you weren't in the, in the wind side of things. And we're going to fast forward again. This is right before the last corner, so you can see the setup here. And I'm just going to pinch. You can see me up there, just in front of the gateway kid. I'm going to pinch out to the right, clear some space for myself on the left as well. Move left across the road. And this is a really long sprint. And so I'm, I, the plan was to be top 10 wheels coming through the sprint. You see me not pedaling. We're on the final straight. It's about 300 meters to go. My only plan was to surf wheels as long as I could. And, uh, and this is an uphill drag. I had my, my sprint point marked so I knew where I was gonna jump. And right now I'm just sitting in the wind a little bit so that I don't get swarmed around the left side. And so there's an avenue and you can see me, there's the good wheel. I'm sitting about seventh and it's gonna stack up and I shoot over to the right and, uh, and that's it. And then the crit was on Sunday and that was a really, that was truly a race of attrition. Uh, middle of the day, Florida heat, Florida humidity, and it wheeled down and whittled down and whittled down and, and uh, ended up being a very small select group at the end and Grant was seventh in the sprint. So two top tens for us at nationals. Uh, we were pretty happy with it. Uh, we'd say uh, success, job done. Uh, based on the expectations that we had going in. So from there, we went home. <laughs> and home for me is in California right now. So I flew back to meet Fee in California. We were there for two weeks. And then Intelligentsia, which I'm gonna save for part two of, of the this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna walk through Intelli and uh and the later half of this season for us which uh, got a little bit interesting so stay tuned thanks for watching and i hope you have enjoyed the, uh, the update and hope i can bring you along on this journey just a little bit so, thanks for watching stay tuned peace